Hi and welcome to YouBuyYouDo.com Today we're going to do a bit of maintenance on the stove just keeping it in a tip top condition and helping the flue and hopefully preventing chimney fires which is one of the main things you've got to do What I'm going to be looking at today is the smoke diverter Now the smoke diverter lives inside the stove above Some of these are actually bolted in the position and uh, if they are bolted into position, be careful when you unbolt them because you could end up shearing the bolts and then you'll be in a bigger problem. So if they are bolted in position, it won't move easily or well, they're calling the chimney sweep or just on the maintenance side of the chimney sweeping and you'll be able to sort it out for you. Up and above that, the smoke diver plays a big role within the stove itself. But what we're primarily looking at today is <coughs> the smoke diver, one of its functions is to not only allow the flame to get direct access into the stovepipe or into the flue itself. So it allows the smoke and the fire to come forward, go around the smoke diverter and back into the flue. What actually happens at the same time is as the smoke's going around it takes particles of soot and ash and they can lay on the back of the smoke diverter, potentially can reignite and then cause a chimney fire in this area here. So the way it didn't stop and that happen, what we actually do is look up the inside Use this one. This smoke diverter lifts forward slightly and then comes down. Do that gently when you're doing it because it could have a lot of ash on the top of it. <coughs> From that position, what I do is brush the front, brush the back with wearing gloves, of course. Hands up, just confirm it's clean. I brush behind on both sides and on the top of the stove. The other side of the stove, checking. I haven't missed anything. Check the actual back of the smoke diverter as well. If there's any pitting or there's sulfur build up, yellowish sulfur you build up on the back, this could be a bigger problem. So if you've got a lot of sulfur build up on the back of this or a lot of pitting, uh, call in the chimney sweep or when he comes around next, ask him to have a look at that and see if there's uh, any other additional problems. I have confirmed before I started this, I haven't used this stove in two days, so frankly, I know it's stone cold. With that, fitting it back, it's up, in, job done. I'm going to be placing more tips onto youbuyoudo.com, so please come back when you get a minute or two. Uh, other than that, have a great day and speak to you soon. Bye bye.